yellow-shouldered parrots. These chicks are just two weeks old. Their feathers are beginning to come through. Soon, they will be ready to leave this nest. But will they get the chance? Margarita Island is known to be the largest and most biologically diverse among the Venezuelan Caribbean islands, with the majority of its wildlife found on the western Macanao Peninsula. This magnificent place is a threatened species hotspot and home to Venezuela's most endangered parrot, the aptly named yellow-shouldered parrot. Poaching of chicks for the pet trade is rife, and loss of habitat almost led to their extinction on Margarita, until their plight came to the attention of John Paul Rodriguez. The 2003 Whitley Award winner embarked on a mission to protect this charismatic bird. John Paul co-founded Provita, an NGO which has spent the last 30 years working to safeguard not only the yellow-shouldered parrot, but all endangered species in Venezuela. Initially, when we started working with the parrot, we focused on the reproductive biology and on controlling poaching. So we were very successful at taking areas of research, protecting the nests, and making sure that all the parrots that were in our nests flew every year. Provita is working with communities and local authorities to tackle poaching and restore natural habitat. Ex-hunters have been offered an alternative livelihood and joined a team of eco-guardians committed to protecting parrot nests to boost their chances of breeding success. As a result of his multifaceted approach, numbers of yellow-shouldered parrots are finally on the rise. We have taken the population from about 650 parrots when they started working in the late 80s, early 90s, and now it's about 1,700, so we tripled the population. Despite success, trade in this desirable bird is still a problem on Margarita. At present, we have 1,700 in the wild in Macanao, but there are at least 3,000 in people's homes. So it's a, it's a big difference. It's a very strong pressure on the parrot survival. Elsewhere throughout their range, yellow-shouldered parrots have declined and even faced local extinction. But John Paul will never give up on the parrot. After receiving his Whitley Award in 2003, John Paul gained the attention of the IUCN, and today he is the elected chair of the Species Survival Commission, the first person from outside Europe or North America to hold this position. He has increasingly become part of the international conservation community. These connections have allowed him to test new approaches locally whilst contributing to global species conservation and environmental policy. John Paul's Whitley Gold Award will focus on developing the first conservation action plan for this parrot, protecting it across its entire range. John Paul will join forces with other Whitley Award winners to review the project in Macanao and develop a holistic strategy that benefits both people and parrots. We believe that now it's time to take a bigger look at the picture and start working on the social aspects of it, trying to understand how we can find ways to turn around this tradition of having parrots as pets. The support of the Whitley Fund for Nature is crucial at a time when social and economic crisis in Venezuela is forcing conservation into the background. Despite these overwhelming pressures, with a leader like John Paul at the helm, Provita gives us reason to be optimistic about the future. <laughs>